<clears throat> so now the issue is um okay the issue is this <clears throat> when you are finding the position the position the velocity and acceleration i want i want us just to go back on um You put your calculator in large, but the answer is going to be in meters. That's how it is. That's correct. So now, so now, um, <clears throat> the reason now why we are going to put the calculator in large because we, from our formulas, we have. Um, this formula is a is it cos or sine cos this so now the reason why we change it's more like do you know that this one is we are talking about this w here is the same as 2 pi f now 2 pi is in lad it's not in theta so that's the reason why you always change so when you're dealing with such kind of questions you always change the calculator to lad to find the correct answers if i if i made myself clear yes but just for clarification i remember the last time when we were in uh, when we were solving i think that was question two the, i think that was question three when they tried us to find the position in everything we didn't for that one when we were calculating the velocities we used we use degrees not large. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. Let's I think maybe I, I forgot to mention that, but can we just go back a bit? Do you have a um uh, do I have the throw sheet? It's supposed to be in large because of this. Because we said this is equal to 2 pi times f so initially this alone is in lad so as long as we are dealing with this guy the calculator is supposed to be changed to to what to lad yes so now i want us to go back i want first to check yeah. that question L let me just check that question just a minute someone who want to join ah they have given up Which question is that? The one that you gave us today or the one that we saw the last time? Okay, I'm talking about this one. So, determine the displacement. Okay, yeah. So, for part F, which is asking us to, do, to find the, the displacement, of the particle from the equilibrium you know we were using this angular frequency not so do you remember yes. so just uh, cor correction there we were supposed to put the angular velocity the angular the angular frequency to be in lad okay the calculator to be in lad not the angular frequency but the calculator is supposed to be in lad so the answer we found there, yes, the answer we found there, I think, is going to be a bit different from this one, because you are supposed to put even this one. So for this, what are the, oh no, these ones are okay, but starting from here, from this guy, all the way to this one, the, the calculator is supposed to be in large. Okay. Cheers.
we are going to go yes so did you find now the question is which time did you use for part a Ah, you guys, you can think. You know, yes, you know what? I'm, I'm so shocked that you, 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 you have gone all that far to think that this time is for both, is for everything. Like this guy for part A, B, C. I remember last year when I was teaching this, I gave them as an assignment, and then they were thinking to say, these two, th there is no velocity, there is no time. So they give me the answer to say time is not known, so it cannot be found. Then they only found this. So like the question here, the way it is, this T is for the entire question, for part A, B, C. Yeah, so we start. We'll say the position as a function of time is A cos angular times T. So position as a function of time. Now, what is our time? In that case, our time is one point. You know, sometimes... <sighs> no, I've not even read the question. So, the wheel in the simplified engine of figure P13.23 has radius A is equal to 0 0.25 meters and rotate with angular frequency of 12 lat per second at T is equal to 0. The piston... The piston is located at x is equal to m. Calculate the pos piston's position, velocity, and acceleration. So now, don't you think that if you start studying the diagram, it's going to confuse you? Because I know some some of you guys, you looked at this and then you were like, I think we didn't do this. <laughs> you get my point, eh? But if you read the question, we have all the data. <laughs> you see, you'll be like, ah, we have got a piston. I think we have not done this. And you start asking me to say, it's under which topic? I think this is the most simplest question I've come across, but people will just be confused because of the diagram. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the what will be the answer here. So I'll put 1.15. The amplitude we have been told is 0 0.25. So 12 times 1.15. So you put your calculator in LAD. So 0 0.25 cos. Ah, where you are, I think they are washing soccer. Yeah, thank you. What answer did you get, you guys? What answer did you get? I'm getting... Ah, is this even correct? If, it, if it's in right, I got 0 0.0827. Exactly. It's supposed to be NAD, not if it's in NAD. It's supposed to be NAD. So what's the answer in lad? So which one should we follow? This one is in one decimal press. This one is in um, three decimal presses. We can leave it in th in the three as well, right? Yes. Now, this one you leave it in meters. That's what you do. Then for velocity as a function of time, you say negative a 
this sine this so v 1.15 is equal to negative negative what <coughs> negative 0 0.250 then times the angular east curve sine 12 times 1 point one five. okay so what will be your answer so 0 0.25 times 12 is 3 eh? yes so you say 3 sine open brackets 12 times 1.15 I'm getting 2.83 so v as a function of 1.5 is equal to negative 0 0.8831 meters per second then acceleration as a function of t negative a this squared cos this so acceleration as a function of 1.5 is equal to negative a is 0 0.25 0 times 12 squared then cos 12 times 1.15 so a as a function of 1.5 1 1.15 is giving me zero point two five zero times twelve squared times cos open brackets twelve times one point one five close the brackets what answer are you getting? I'm getting negative eleven point ninety one. Okay, so we round it off. We leave it ninety one. Is there is is there a number which you can say negative eleven point ninety one? Okay, let's end it there. It's okay. So this is my acceleration, my position. Did you guys find these answers? Let's start with Esther. So Esther, the first answer was correct. The second was correct. The third one was also cool. Okay. This is so... Same applies to this one. Who is this one? Chikondi. Chikondi, everything was perfect. Ah, so you guys you managed to find this then there is this one everything was wrong then there is uh, this one who found yeah because I understand anyway this was wrong but have you guys understood hmm
Okay, honestly, could you please share with me some some notes? I don't know some slides. I'm behind, guys. I'm behind. Okay, so you want slides? Yeah. 